today I have this uh, Volvo VNL that is having some region problems. Um, and it has uh, 600,000 miles, if I am correctly. Uh, yeah, 600,000. There. Oh, too close. There, 600,000. Um, the problem that we have in. Uh, the, the problem that is causing this is uh, the following. And in this case, I'm using the JPro application to uh, work with this Volvo. And it is this one right here. See, no uh, knock sensor performing, signal stock high, bank one, sensor two, no additional information. Um, and here is the default code. That one there, the number. Um, there's no extra information here. So Volvo uses this type of, of uh, folds. Um, and then we have these uh, other code right here. See the cells, back, pressure, circuit, signal, failure. So that one is also related to the region, kind of like that. And then we have the um, region light on because it's flashing right here. You can see it's flashing right there too. Uh, so anyway, in this case, there is two sensors that we need to replace. Um, sorry about that. Uh, it is the knock sensor, the outlet. The bank one, sensor two is the outlet. Sensor one is the inlet. Um, uh, and then this one right here is the exhaust pressure sensor. Uh, which I want to show you where it is located. Um, so that way you get an idea on what you have to do. So, of course, we need to replace both of the sensors. And uh, let's get to see the location of both of them. So, the exhaust pressure sensor is this one. Right here, it goes all around. There is a pipe that goes all around. So, but this is the exhaust pressure sensor. Um, uh, so we need to replace this one. Uh, well, probably it was replaced already, not sure. Um, so it looks like new, but you know, sometimes they look like that. Um, so that's what we need to target right now, the exhaust pressure sensor. And then the other sensor that we need to replace is the outlet uh, the knock sensor which is that one right there that one is the outlet knock sensor this one it goes right there and it comes all the way here to the module right here so both of these sensors need to be replaced in order to in order to uh, fix this issue um, and uh, uh, once these sensors are replaced uh, we need to uh, uh, come back to the computer and do a region um, we can do the region right here we can do this one right here, or we can do the conversion or the SCR for generation. Either one we can do to test the uh, performance of the SCR system. So in this case, I want to show you this one, the region. Uh, it's going to show this, this J-Pro style, and you, you need to check all these. It's not a big deal. Um, so let's close it. So we are in zone 5, which is the uh, highest zone you can go for region. And uh, we have D rate loose power. So once we are doing the region, what we're going to focus on this is right here the SCR system. On the SCR system, uh, we are going to focus on these two readings. See, 
the inlet and the outlet knock sensor. Right now it says invalid. Uh, the reason why it says invalid is because the exhaust temperature right here is pretty low. So see, all these temperatures are low. So this temperature is gonna be at least 400 to 500 Fahrenheit in order to make this sensor start reading some information because you know the system has to be had in order to work. If the system is not had, it's not going to detect any anom anomalies or it's not going to work right. Um, so uh, now we go back and yeah that's what we need to do we need to start the region once we replace the sensors very important so if you replace the sensors and the fault code doesn't go away you have a different problem it could be wiring it could be a, a computer it could be some other stuff uh, but most of the time the sensor is the one that goes bad and that is what causes the issue so in this case uh, that's what we're gonna do uh, just remember then whenever you replace the sensor you have to uh, uh, remove the sensor freeze because the old sensor has to be returned as a core. And uh, and that sensor right there, the, uh, the exhaust pressure sensor, I don't think it has a core, but the outlet and the inlet pressure sensor, I mean, the uh, knock sensor, they do have to be returned as cores because they're going to rebuild them anyway. So. Uh, you need to return it, otherwise you're gonna spend uh, like $1,000 for each sensor. They're very expensive from factory. So you can uh, look for aftermarket routes, but still it's gonna be kind of expensive. So uh, uh, whatever it is, it is expensive. So um, I will tell you then uh, it is expensive. It is expensive as it is, but, uh, but uh, um, I will say then uh, to, to do this repair, just to make sure to remove all of the sensors, and once you remove all of the sensors, you're gonna be able to do uh, the repair properly, do the regen, and the lights gotta go away by themselves. And if they don't go away by themselves, you can clear them. And if if you clear them, still the lights don't go away, you still have a different problem. So just double check all that to find problems with these bulbs. But anyway, this is all I have for you. For this video uh, on this Volvo VNL, giving you some region problems, and I want to continue on giving you region problems because I have some Volvos that are coming day by day. So making more videos to show you more information about these Volvos. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more information about Volvos. Uh, like the video, share it, subscribe, follow me on Instagram as Francisco Maya YouTube, and come to the shop if you have any uh, questions. Uh, CCA Fleet Services or 8215 Beach Avenue. Thank you for watching.